brothers and sisters, you have to keep on focusing on Christ through obedience. So I want everyone of us to know today, we have to make a choice. Tell your neighbor, make a choice that you live for Christ. You have to make a choice. No one forces anyone. God himself does not for anyone himself. No. He will let you know this is good. This is bad. But you choose good. You don't think you must choose good. No. You don't need to do so. It has power to do so, but you don't need to eat. So for that reason, we should know how to partner with Christ through obedience. You had this money when the Holy Spirit is in you. He knows everything. Without God sees you. Whatever you are thinking, he's seeing it. When he's in you, he said any other name was back to Jesus. Forget about this pandemic or whatever. Forget about pandemic. Pandemic is a name. It goes back to Jesus. And you are a child, just know nothing. Any open door for you, the enemy can never be able to close it. Amen. Why? Because the Lord is with you. It's just like he was with children of Israel. On the rest, of what happened? He was in their midst. When sees, he saw him, he departed on his own. Because he was there. So also, when pandemic sees you, just as it's in you, it will only depart from you. Because it cannot stay. So don't be afraid. Like I said before, you only be hearing as a news. Hey, people are dying, you know. But it's a you. Don't go out, you Have you come and know? It's coming man. Forget about that. Christ in you is your hope of glory. Without Christ, you have no glory. You don't have no hope. They are giving you glory. He said the glory in heaven. Even on this earth that they are living, even with net is glory, they are turning it on the way already. So yes. is Christ. Who else are you looking for? Say that have power on earth here to demonstrate. Was it not defeated even in hell? So if you say I'm on that here, don't worry. Christ has everything. Heaven, head, and net. When you leave him and open your ears to another person, you are being a mistake. Please, brothers and sisters, I've come to encourage everyone of us today that we should know as Christians, we should make a choice of living for Christ. And the only way out is through obedience. This life is so short. It's a short. It could be only 20 years. For me, it's, it's short. When they tell a man you're already 90, you say, ah, where was I born? I'm already 90. That is life. Today, many of you, you are more than 20, 30. When your mother will say, that my small baby is not more than 30. That is life. Nobody will know. Time will never for anyone. Anywhere there is time, it's always going. Whether you are looking at time or not, you are looking at time. It's on his phone. Before you know it, it's one hour, two hours. You say, what for me? I don't have time yet. Though. It's your problem. That's what many people are doing. Jesus, wait, I don't have time to serve you now. But I remind you today, the bread that's in you is in. Without that bread, I said the other time, you will be meant more than you were. When God created into Adam, and he came to give you so. Today, you say, I don't have time for that God now to be busy. This is the new world. Make sure you make your calculations. It should be your number one. In anything you do. Be concerned about his kingdom. Because when you know that every other thing he has promised, he will hand it on to you. And as God does not fail. Why? Because if you know number one is a merciful God, number two is faithful, we have been taught. You had it clearly, is the faithful God. He's so merciful. But I come today to remind every one of us. This part is merciful, it's faithful. But remember, God is principled. His words are very important. He honors his word more than even himself. So do not think I'll please him, you will not do anything. 
If you can honor his word more than himself, and you disobey his word, he doesn't know you. That's what you have in your brain. That because God is the of God, and we have to obey him through his words. He is so messy, that is why he's able to introduce his word to the human being to look into. Otherwise, Jesus Christ will not come here. Why did he can to come here as a human being? So that you are laying here this way. We have a little America. God is not going to America. We didn't see him. Oh. This is why Jesus Christ came as a human being. He lived with people around him also. Those who still did not believe in him. Otherwise, how could they have believed him? It's not possible. They thought they were heading him, but they didn't, they didn't know they were not doing what God wanted to do. Why? Because God is number one. He owns everything. And we are living for him. For that reason, be obedient. Do not say, I have a life today, I don't have time. You must have time for when you come to God. Partnership with God and Jesus Christ. If you do that, brothers and sisters, no evil will be able to affect you. And no devil, plan of devil, will succeed in your life. Why? Because the world that is in you is more than every other thing. So, we are talking about this month of October. What else are you going to do? Who is going to be that one? What will it be that will be able to separate you from that love of God? And you are due to it. Who want me to talk to you? How do you go to church every week now? What's the most enough now? It's not true, church. I'm tired. So you are already tired. Don't go to church. It's true. But not going why I go to church. It's true. It's true. I will go. Before you reach two weeks, never go. Some people call themselves they are Christians. I remember when I don't go with me. But I don't have time this week, though. Okay, he went. Before you reach two weeks, gone. We are now in the month of October. From January till now, you never have time. But I'm not going to church, though. Only I never have time one day. I repent the person, super. You are not deceiving yourself. Why did Bible say, sometimes you say, I don't know you, Zah, or God? I even hear people your name, and I say, that's serious. I don't know you. So, brother and sister, we know today are aware that you have to partnership with God through Christ. I told you, Christ is not the way, it's the race. Where is why all oh, put some people go like this? We are thinking the same way. But the rain, what should the rain? You stop there, you can't go further. What should the rain? You step to the end of you. <laughs> so better know that it's very important to obey and live for him. Live for Christ, you know, one thing in your mind that you think of. Not how do I do that? He said, whatever you eat and drink, I'll give it unto you. Don't say, I'm going to for it myself. No. We are for you. Why? Because definitely it's coming back again. If you are afraid of an object that came out around you called coronavirus, for that reason, Lord, you know I cannot worship a girl because coronavirus is around you. You see, more powerful than Jesus Christ himself. No. No. It's never powerful than Jesus Christ himself. He said there is no name. They will not bow down for that name of Jesus Christ. So you come and I'm not no near here. Christ is here. And that will be the end. So, every one of us should know to share it ourselves and make a choice. A choice should be made by every one of us. To serve God. We have to choose to serve God. We have to choose to serve God. That is what I want to share for us today. That we choose to serve God. If you don't do that, it will be difficult for you to serve Him. Why? Because stories will come to come into your brain that will tell you you don't have time now. You are not coming from work. What are you afraid for? Sit down. Next week you go. It's not doing job. That will be good. Don't you know that by the you can't go there. You want that disease? Who is this? It's not true. You stay. And after we come in, then you stay. Brothers and sisters, we are Christians. Jesus Christ said, the ones who gave to me, I give them your way. And they believe me. And that means the devil can never near you. Why? Because the one that is you is more than that in the world. 
And I pray that that great that every one of us will make up our mind to give up that be given to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. That no enemy will be able to take us again. And we say for that reason, I want to say it in hard with us. I want to give my head up. Which head are you keeping? Which head are you keeping? Which head are you keeping? That the one that made us told you, don't worry. God is always around his children and nothing can touch us. Let's see what happened in the book of Genesis, chapter 1. Chapter 17, verse 1. When he was talking to Abraham. Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. Go to know God is powerful. He has everything that's needed. You can you carry it on your own. He said, even when Abraham was 99 years old, Abraham was 99 years old. Is anybody older than Abraham here? No. No. Why is that God? You don't think about it that they are years old though. I don't have time for you again. You know. And you're going to leave. Is that possible? So you just don't deceive yourself. Say, hey, I'm already too, I'm a big guy now, I don't have time again. Just because you can eat and drink. You think it's enough for you. Who gave you the tea and drink? You do not go. No fully where that the bread you are breathing daily is him living inside you. I said as soon as that bread is taken away for you, what do they say? He said, Percy is dead. Only bread, though, you still have a leg. Why did you not say that only bread no day? <laughs> when you have a leg, you have a Why do they say we are dead? Just the bread of God is no more in you. You are still complete, you have eyes, everything. Why do you not say he's only sleeping now? If you wake up. <laughs> and that's what it's supposed to be. But the bread is gone forever. That is why they say you are not dead. They can come and put you inside the ground and cover you up. Are you not complete? Just because of bread is no more there. And yet you think you don't need to, to worship that man who has that bread. Who lives in you? We are fully ourselves. We should know. God is very, very important. And in fact, with him all things are possible. Amen. So that is why we should not think, say, what I'm having is too big. So God, God cannot help me. I have to help myself now. You, you help yourself. When you read the book of Genesis, Abraham was already 39 years old. Lord appeared to him, saying, I'm God Almighty. Live in my presence. Amen. Why, brother, God, I'm already 39 years old, though. I'm now the baby again, though. Why you don't take all of that? He didn't do so. So, you that are just, let me say, you are just starting something or something, you something, something, I'm already too old, I have time. You are feeling yourself. So please, brother, make up your mind that this one, I will follow him. I will live for him. And not to separate me from his love. Last one you had, don't allow anything on this head to separate you from the love of God. That you say, I don't have time, oh. I'm too tired now. I am too weak, oh. This morning I'm not rested, oh. Church is only on Sunday. You find a excuse not to come. Now we have because of Wednesday. No, we are not here. Friday, we are not here. Sunday come again. Oh, no, okay, come again. No. Okay, next week now. Next week we never finish. Before you leave, it's a day, Monday again. Friday has come. Wednesday, you are here. But Friday, we are here. You don't appear. When John Michael say, I brought your blessing on Wednesday, I didn't see you. I waited till Friday. I came here, I didn't see you. What happened? You say I want to say no more bless for you. What did you say? You say it's wicked. It's not wicked. You yourself. Challenge yourself. Say, okay. God, so long as it's you, I will show up. Because everything is in his power. We are only doing ourselves unknown to us. Because he wants us, he owns our life. But we think we have our everything is ours. No one can disturb us. We are already everything. No! God is everything to you. It's supposed to be your number one. We have six more small children around here. He has promised for all the children. How do you know that I pray for all the children? 
therefore obey him. So that everything he has said about the children become your portion. You cannot say, hey, I'm already, I know so much, you know. God has asked for it, oh, give it to me, oh. You will not do the work for it. It can't work out that way. Work it out yourself. Why do you say work your salvation out yourself? I cannot work salvation of Kevin for him. Kevin cannot work salvation of his small boy for him. He said, what you This is how God is. Do your own business. You know, say, God, I'm here, my, do my two children. Take that with me. No. They have to know God themselves, too. That is it. That's why iniquity of father cannot be upon you. So, if God bless your father, say, God, you have blessed my father, so I'm blessed already. He said, no, do your own. What about if you ask iniquity? You say, God, okay, my father is iniquity, let me have it. No, you not say so. But he's blessed, he say, I want to have my father's blessing. No. Your father is not Abraham. That was Abraham, bless her mind. So, brother and sister, please, work your salvation yourself. Be prepared to work for him and obey him. Live for him. Live for him. Go and read the book of that Genesis 17 that I talk about. Talk about. 17 read it all. Abraham was not a little boy, but God told him. He didn't say I'm too old. I cannot believe it. He, he had God and he opened his ears and listened. So you don't deceive yourself, say, I'm not going to get you. I'm not going to get you. I don't have time again. You don't have time for what? For God? But you have time that devil will tell you to go somewhere and you go there and you think that will bless you? No! What means we have a way of thinking? Clearly, he told us in the book of Luke 22, verse 20, 25 to 28, Luke 22. Book of Luke 22. Look at the two, yeah. verse 25 to 28. He said, and he said unto them, the kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. But ye shall not be so, but he that greatest among you, let it be as the younger, and he that is chief as he does serve. Jesus Christ said, I came as a servant. If our own Lord, who is God himself, Jesus Christ is God himself. But he came as a servant. When he broke bread, he was not giving them bread. Why did he not say, oh, no, 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 your master, eat whatever you want to eat? He didn't do so. He didn't do so. So don't ever feel you are too big saying, yeah, I don't have time, I beg, I'm already an old person. So I don't have time to serve God now. You say, God, give me this, he gives it to you. You have it, you can eat, you can drink. For that reason, no more time for him again. Because all you need is with you. You don't have to wait until you have a need before they go, where are you? I need something. No. And that's what we like doing. Thinking that uh, we don't have time for God because we are busy, because everything is going fine with you. You are very wise. I'm a wise by saying I don't need God again. Who told you you are wise? Who told you you are wise? God is your wisdom. So we don't deny what is true. All we need to do is we should know. You call yourself a child of God, you care yourself, don't have time to obey him by doing his words. Amen. Why? Because he has already promised his children, and because he's a principal God, he will not say, okay, if that is his, let me say me to you. No, he's principal. The person who are not is older, his own way more than himself. You want me to honor you more than this way? It's not possible. That's why they say you should fear God. It's not that the carrier man, you look for him to keep. That's not why you should fear him. No. 
John the first is principle. What he says is this, and what is that, he can never change it. So, such a person, you have to be careful. And God wants you to know he's a principle God and live for him. How do you live for him? Through obedience. Through obedience. That every single one of us, we know we are living a life of Christ. Why? Because we must account for every day on this earth that we are living. Don't allow anything on this earth surpass you more than Christ. I told you is the rain. Without him, you go nowhere. It's not the way only he said. The way he said is a broad way. I can go this way and say I arrive in heaven in daylight. It's a rain. Once you drop out of this, you are off the way. I said you are on that rain. The book must be from here to the other. There are six parts going. You can go to the bush. You take it around the same place, you don't get there. But if you're on that rain, it will bring you straight to where you are going to, to eternity. And that's where I want to see every one of us in the name of Jesus. I want to come back. Amen. Take us back home. None of us that God will allow the devil to take us away from him. Why? Because he's looking at everything who to take away. He will encourage you. Don't oh, forget about that. The no, Lord is not needed now. Ah, wait a You say that too, sir. Then you form to the enemy. But I pray that God should assist every one of us with that is what in us. This is why we are given the Bible. To be able to know and know the truth. So that we know it's the only way. It's the only way. Not you should fear us. Why? Because he lives inside you. If you don't want to live without you, he will live. But I pray that that grace that is needed by every one of us, that God will part it in us. That we're able to live for him so that his spirit are going to remain in us. Amen. That the enemy never any day be able to delay any of us. Amen. Because once we do that, then we start losing. Amen. We are alive today. Why? Because God wants us to be alive. Yes. You ask yourself, say, I'm not better than the one that is saying that you are not better, but his grace kept you. And that is grace. We're going to make sure that you are living for him. Amen. Every one of us, I want you to know, we have crown. We have crown. We must make sure we actively, we actively live for Jesus today. Determine where you you find yourself because you just have to make the decision. Say, I want to be for Christ. And with that, nobody can stop you. But you make that decision yourself by obeying everything about him. Because in this season that we are today, if not that Peter, we have seen it already, talk about Peter, mm. he talk about Joseph, mm. talk about David, mm. they made up our mind to live for Christ. Mm. You see, when David, many of you say, uh, what is the meaning? Because his heart was meant for God. Mm. When he has some people present, he say, who is that? Or some mm. Do you think the the the, the what is name? Uh, the David himself, the small stone that he took, that he threw on that big Goliath, was able to kill him. No, because we were wearing helmet already. But what happened? He died. That was God that killed the the, the, the idiot for David. <laughs> it's all the stone. No, I'm not telling you. When you, you have to make sure you partner with Christ. When you are with Christ, nothing can stop you. When Peter decided to partner with Christ, he entered into a ship. He said, he said, can't he say, ah, oh God, we have been told you all the night now. Nah, ah, you don't say anything. He said, it's okay if you say so. The cast is never out. He had to beckon. Come on, fish out here. Come and help me. Why? Because he was partnering with Christ. And he said, Peter did. So don't ever think you can live on your own. We already have examples in the Bible. The people that made up their mind, like Joseph himself, that he want to live with this person and God will never allow anything bad to come to them. So don't think that once you are a Christian, you are already available for all these good things. No! What about your character? Live for Christ. Live for him. And make sure that you are obedient to the call. This is the reason we have the Bible. It's wet. Without its wet, nothing we can do on this head that is carrying us the way. 
Everybody has a crown. Don't allow anyone to take your own crown. The book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 11. Every one of us has a crown. Don't allow any idiot to take your crown from you. Because the enemy is always there to look for why we collect your crown from you. Revelation 3, 11. He said, because you have kept my commandments to endure, I will also keep you from the hour of testing that is going to come over the whole world to test those who live on the earth. The level says, I am, I am coming quickly. Hold on to what you have so that you, so that no one takes your crown. Amen. No one should take your crown. Hold on, on him. No one will take your crown. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. And none of us in this place should miss the eternity that he has for us. So, the only way out is focus on him. Forget about what's happening around you in your society where you are. Why? Because that one that is in you is more than what is outside. Amen. Amen. Unknown to you. This is why you are afraid. Say, ah, I'm going to go. Afraid. Christ is the hope of glory. Amen. Without Christ, you have no hope. The glory God gave to all his children, without Christ, you will not get it. That's why you said it's your hope of glory. So you don't seek it, you are being yourself. Why are you alive? The reason is this same man is the one you are already a woman being. The human nature of a dead God. But Somebody has to reconcile human nature back to God. Mm. And that's what Jesus Christ did. Amen. That is why he's number one in your life. Mm. So if you think you don't need him, brother and sister, you are doing a mistake. Yes. Nothing should repent you from his love. Yes. Don't allow your child, your husband, or your wife, or your boss, or whoever the person is on this earth, mm. to separate for the love of God. Yes. Why? Because you will come for yourself to be on that day. One is merciful and is true. He is faithful and is true. But remember, he is merciful. If you don't follow his doctrine, nothing he can do. He cannot because of you cut his hand off. He say, I told you to do it. You don't do it, nothing I can do. So we should know that our life is in our own hands. We have to make sure we are obedient to the call. Don't ever say, I don't have time no, to worship him. If that was the ages what I do on the level, only worship him. 24 hours. Worship God only. 24 hours. But you only on Sunday. I don't have time no. Friday, ah, it's already too late now. Nah. When they say I'm tired. We come here, we should only come here for the darkness. Then we go home. Then you have 24 hours, what are you going to do with the remaining hours? You go and sit your friend talking nonsense only. <laughs> but instead of being the hand of God, you say, ah, it's too funny. Why are they staying so long now? That's why I don't like going there. How can they stay up to two hours? What did they do? <laughs> you that you should be very happy, want to sleep in the heart of your Lord forever. You come here and ah, let's go. You, you can live here now. You go outside, stay outside, three hours discussing. No problem. Because I'm no more here in church, so I'm already outside. That will give you good breeze. You say, ah, super, yeah, it's French. Brother and sister, make sure you don't derail yourself from the love of God. I told you, the ray takes to eternity. The way is very broad. If you decide to go on your own, the devil is leading you, say, tell us go, fresh here, there. Get the place, I can't go from here. Say, no, that is heaven. I can't reach there. This is my place. Ah, is it heaven? That's where I can take you to. Stay here with me. In my home. Ah, is that the head of the name? Ah, that's where my own place. Then you'll be surprised. But that ray that takes to eternity, you say, ah, this one is difficult though. It's real. Once I come down now, I can't go again. Thank you. And that is life we are living. So, brother and sister, if you pray that God should give us that grace to know how to maintain 
that thing, that nothing on this earth. Like I told you, in my life I pray not even my son, not even my wife, that will make me to come away from the way of the Lord. I don't want it. Because I have my life to live. Sure, not say, okay, since your son, they are blessed, you are not going to heaven. You wouldn't say so. You have to answer for yourself. So every of us should know we should answer for ourselves. Mm. Nobody will answer for you. This is why it's the wife to know that he for Christ is very, very important. I've been talking about it now over three weeks. Mm. Live for Christ. If you live for him, then all the blessings and everything I have promised will come your portion. If you don't want to live for him, you have the problem. He has millions living for him. And God, God is not rich. He's, 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 he's worth himself. You know, sir, he's, very, he's, not, he's, he's worth himself. It's everything that you say you take too much for him. But no. If you don't want it, it's not the problem. But I pray that it's good and grace to know how to live for him. Amen. That we see that working for his kingdom will be our double power purpose in our heart. Mm. That we will always make time to serve him. Because he said it clearly. His kingdom falls. Mm. Every other thing. He didn't ask you what. Any other thing will become yours. Mm. If you say, let me look at all that is first now. Before your kingdom. Okay. It's your decision. He will not force you. And that's why many of us are going the wrong way. But I pray that His grace mm. to maintain us in that way Amen. will always be with us in the name of Jesus. That none of us in this church will ever be able to take us away from Him. Amen. The enemy that is here planning day in day out to make sure that the delayed children of God will ask God Himself to stop the enemy and that the grace is just come upon every single one that is here. Amen. That we shall see ourselves living continuously of the combat. And we shall be children of the Most High. Amen. And His blessings that surpasses understanding will call the portion of every one of us in the name of the Christ. Amen. That all of us will again suffer the second time mm. with Satan. Mm. Because we are not the children. We are the children of God. Amen. And only Him is able protect us. And any life you are living today, please make a choice to live for Christ. It's the only way. It's the truth. It's the only way. It's the truth. Everyone's life is in his hand. You are naked before him. That means he sees you. Anything that is in your heart. You cannot deceive God. You can only deceive man. He sees you everything in your heart. So, for that reason, we should learn how to follow him and to obey him. Be obedient completely. So that the enemy will not be able to stop your blessing. Because when Jesus is in you, no door can be close to you. Amen. Enemy cannot close any door before you. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the opener is there. Like I told you, the children of Israel, he was in their midst. This is why he was there with them. The city pattern. So when the Lord is in you, no enemy can say around you what you call coronavirus. You cannot say near the Lord. You cannot say near the Lord. We are not his portion. The God will never allow any of us here to be affected in the Amen. And any disease at all that is in the air will never be your portion. Amen. Why? Because Jesus himself is in you. Amen. So maintain being with him and his partner with him. Amen. With your obedience, partnership with God. Mm. When partnership with God, then of course. He knows you. He keeps you in the record. You become part of his duty every day. He has vowed to keep his children. Don't take yourself away from being his child. Through your, your behavior. Most of us don't even understand it. We think of the, 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 the name of God before you know that there's God. No! No! We are alive today because of somebody is protecting you. So the coronavirus will only be news to you and can never, never be able to affect anyone in Christ in the body. Amen. Why? Because Amen. Christ our Lord is the Savior. He's the power all over. In his name, all others will bow. Amen. That's what you have in your mind. Mm. All of us must bow in the name of Christ. Amen. And that is your Lord. Amen. And nobody can take it for it's your cap that is your crown 
that no one taking away from you. Amen. The enemy knows himself. That's why he's struggling every day with everyone to take that crown away from you. But God will always maintain his crown on the head of everyone. Amen. 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 I know that is the Lord. That with him, all these are possible. So today, choose to remain in partnership with Jesus Christ true and your life so that you will be blessed and the enemy will never be able to subject you to anything that is wrong. Why? Because the crown is on your head and it's a protector and you live for him and I say live for Christ. Why? Because it's coming back very soon. And when he comes back, he takes you home. He went to make, make a place for you in heaven. And this is the reason why he said, let me live. I will add the Father to send you live to you. Mm. And the Holy Spirit is already here to maintain you, to give you understanding, to give your understanding, to know how to live for him. So, and the Holy Spirit is already here. So what are you waiting for? Still taking yourself away from him. It's not right. Do anything that will make you to live by him, to live for him. To continue to remain in his presence. That is the only way out we can live for Christ. And not allow ourselves to deceive by the enemy Amen. who is outside here looking for who to, to devour. Mm. And that is his own work. And I pray that his grace for us to live for him, we carry to everyone that is here. Amen. And we shall see a full church again and again. Amen. Anyone that is afraid of coronavirus, forget about it. Jesus in you is more than the coronavirus. Amen. It can never affect you. Amen. I say, only be hearing a story in your ears. It can never come near you. Amen. God, Jesus himself said, his people are always his people. Mm. And we guide them mm. and protect them. Mm. And his grace is going to be upon you. Amen. And so what shadow you. His crown in your head. No enemy can take it away from you. Amen. Until Jesus Christ come. And I pray that his grace will be with us. Amen. And that everyone of us should live for Christ. Amen. And we'll be able to live for him through his power. Amen. Which of course is given up to us already. Yes. So don't stop yourself from coming to worship him. Why? Because it's very, very important. Worship is the number one thing that he needs from us. So don't take yourself away from him. Because God is our supernatural God that is protecting us daily. So let us know how to live for him. Our today life is for him. Because he paid for you. You cannot say, I have my life to live. He says, Are you getting the life? Tell you after time, it's my life to live. Who told you? Somebody paid for you. You like it or not, he paid for you. That's why I said, even if you have your father with the back of you, you still are alive. Maybe you don't want the father to pay for you. You cannot say, my father, you have to say, you can't pay for me, so that I can leave you just alone. You can't do it. God will not accept that. So the only way that I accept that by God is Jesus Christ himself. That's why he says he will. So we have no option than to honor him. And his grace will come upon you automatically, and your crown will never be taken away by enemy. And I pray that his grace to live for him be given to every single one in the name of Jesus Christ. That he shall go to maintain it and live for him. That we shall activate our partnership with him. We have to activate our partnership with Christ. So that determine our life on this earth. Amen. May God bless his word. Amen.